3 easy ways to connect footworks and power moves. If you will need more help for your breaking, check out my Patreon link in the description. First and easier way to connect footworks and power moves is from the hook. If you spin clockwise, use the hook on the left side with the right hand. This hook here. It would be the step number 5 of a 6 step. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, hook. From here, to connect your power moves, it's very easy. You wanna use a reverse helicopter. So, you straighten this leg, you do a reverse helicopter. From here, you can decide, it's up to you. You can lean this knee on the floor, then switch your hand, and from here, go to power moves, for example, to windmill, like this, or to flares, for example, like this, and you enter the flare, you swing this leg, you switch the hand, you push, you go up a little bit, and then you connect which power move you want. Air flare, flare, windmills, swipes, whatever. Try to find your own form and way to do it. You can do it a little bit lower with your hips, so try to stay low with your hips like this, and then kick your legs and go. Or maybe you can push higher with your hips, so from here, push yourself up like this, and then go. Or you can use your knee on the floor, so from here, lean the knee, the left knee on the floor, switch and go. First, just try it from the hook, from here. Then, when you feel comfortable, try it from a six step, for example. So, pam, 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 and boom. Second way to connect footworks and power moves. This time we're gonna use the regular helicopter, coffee grinder, or one step. If you spin clockwise, straightening the left leg, like this, turning, and jumping. When you jump, you directly connect the power move you want to connect. Start from the windmill, that is the easier one in my opinion because it's very low. So from here, jump. Don't touch with the left leg on the floor. You can place your hands flat on the floor since you're connecting a power move. If you just want to do a one step, place your hands in a footwork position, so not flat on the floor but only the fingers on the floor. But when you want to connect a power move, feel free to place your hands flat on the floor. So from here, try to jump and reach a tire freeze without leaning this foot on the floor. So don't do this and then this. This will not look smooth. It's gonna look a little bit ugly and it will look like you stop. If you don't have enough power, maybe the first times you can tap with your foot on the floor, but then try to avoid it. I'm gonna show you the difference. This is by tapping with your foot on the floor. And this is without tapping with your foot on the floor. Okay, I'm just connecting a backspin right now, but feel free to connect which power move you want. Start from low power moves and easy power moves, like backspins, windmills, windmill variations. Then try to get a little bit higher, maybe to head spins or to halos, elbow spin, elbow tracks. And then try to get a little higher, like try to connect flares, swipes, and air flares and even 90s. The higher you wanna get, the harder will be this transition. But it will be a very good training if from here you try to go into a 90. It will be hard, but a very, very good exercise for your power to make your power moves stronger. Third way to connect footworks and power moves. This time I'm gonna start from this position here. So spinning always clockwise in my case, I'm gonna straighten the right leg and move it towards the left side. So again, from the position zero, I'm gonna turn a little bit towards my left side and straighten the right leg. From here, I'm gonna place the left hand on the floor and I'm gonna go like this. Just like, almost like half of a Zulu spin. Pam, pam. And from here, I'm ready to start which power move I want. This is also very easy. If you make your footworks dynamic, it will look easy but very cool. For example, you can do it from one full Zulu spin, like this, Zulu spin, and then from here, you start your power moves. Or you can do another footwork, I don't know, maybe you can do something like this, and then you start your power moves. So what I did was kind of like a two-step from here, I do one, two, tap, and power moves. It's not really a two-step, but it's similar to a two-step. Pam, tap, tap, tap. So three taps actually. Just one last time. Tap, 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 and power moves. With this third way, it's gonna be easier to connect higher power moves, like 90s, 
and air flares, for example. Always remember that the purpose of a tutorial is to give you a general understanding of how a move could be learned. But each move can be mastered in many different ways and there is no perfect tutorial for it. Each person has a different body shape, skills level, strength and flexibility. What could be useful for you could be totally useless for someone else and the other way around. What I try to do with my patron is to offer you a clear and customized plan to follow that works for you. If you only rely on tutorials, there is a high chance you are missing some points or doing some extra steps you don't need to do. If you want to have individual feedback, a specific training plan or exclusive content, check out my patron link in the description and choose the monthly plan that fits you best. Remember that you can always cancel or change plan. If you can't really connect footworks and power moves, try these three ways first. And then, when you master them, try to create your own ways to connect footworks and power moves. Very important tip for you, you can use these ways also in reverse to connect power moves to footworks. So, for example, let's take the third one that I showed you and let's start from a flare. I can connect this way to go into footworks from my flare. So, from the flare, I'm gonna do it very slowly so you can understand what is going on. One round of flare, like this. Tap, tap, and then from here I go to footworks. Or, other example, always from flare, I can use the, one, the helicopter, one step or coffee grinder to connect my flares to footworks. So, one round of flare, and then from here I'm gonna go on my footworks by using the same way but in reverse. So, you can use this way to connect footworks to power moves, but also power moves to footworks. As an exercise, you can take the easiest power move that you can do, for example, for most people would be the backspin, and try to connect, for example, the helicopter to backspin, to helicopter again, to backspin again, and so on. Or maybe the hook to backspin, and then from the backspin try to reach the hook again in this position. So from the backspin here, you should turn and get to the hook in this way, and then continue with the footworks. Or maybe again from the backspin you can reach the third way. So backspin, then tap, 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 and continue with the footworks. By the way, guys, if you will need breaking shoes, I really recommend these ones from Dizzy. You can find different colors and different models. They are very good because they are slippery, especially for flares and for leg works. For, in my opinion, they are very good because I can slide with them on the floor. If you use my link in the description, you will have a discount on them. If you need more help for your breaking, check out my Patreon link in the description and see you next time with a new tutorial. Yo, ninjas!